For decades, citizens of Kenya have faced countless challenges to legally changing their names. For transgender Kenyans, this has meant exclusion from much of society. Already targets of discrimination, having a name that doesn't match their gender expression forces them to out themselves to authorities. Luckily, activists from organizations like Transgender Education and Advocacy have successfully pressed the government to accept transgender name change applications. Um, I mean, the process of, of name change itself was not was not very hard because all Kenyans are entitled to have a name change. Um, but the question was the, the particular difference and the particular emphasis on why we were changing our names and the gendering of names in Kenya. When you show that those legal documents that you've changed your name, the passport people were very understanding. But on the ID, when I went to the ID on the other side, so, and I think it's because of these people in the, in the immigration sector, there are people who have information and all that. But on the ID, there are these people who were born in the 1920s or something. So they are old people over there. They don't have information. They are still holding on to tradition, their faith and all that. Before the amendments, a name could only be changed on a passport. But there are some things that can be done with just a passport. Things like voting, things like insurance, housing, education. Loans was a big issue. Driving license, for example, you can't have that without your, 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 I, with your ID. You need your ID for driving license. I am now recognized as a Kenyan citizen, and I have this document to prove that. And I don't have to always use my passport and pro one to always ask, why, do, why are you using your passport? Don't you have a national ID? But the road ahead is long. Transgender Kenyans still face social stigma. No guidelines exist for gender marker change. And few have access to gender-affirming health care. I believe that with medical policies, people will be able to access surgeries and all the other kind of treatments. And also, it will remove the stigmatization that comes along with being a trans person. And also that part of the legal recognition. Because in Kenya, doctors are worshipped. When a doctor says, remove your clothes, you remove without questions. So if there are health policies guiding them, that means we'll be able to change our gender markers and we'll be able to change our legal names without suing people. For more information, be sure to follow Iranti Org and follow One Trans Man's Name Change Journey on our YouTube channel. <laughs>